Hey, it's Micah. So we started making these DIY kits and putting the instructions on YouTube. Those build videos are like one to three hours long. This video is much, much shorter version of one of those videos. I cut it down a bit. If you just want to know the materials and tools you need and how to make a jellyfish sun catcher, then this video is for you. And definitely hit subscribe and ring the bell. You'll be notified when we do a video on the wireframes. We're still getting around to doing that. Okay, so let's go over what tools we'll need. Chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters. I'm gonna use this skinny pen to wrap wire around to make a coil. If you don't have that, we found these random objects from around the house. I would recommend having a dish or plate nearby, something with some heft. You could use a bowl so that you can put your beads in there and they don't get knocked around if you bump the table. And then we have our kit which uh, let's do a really quick inventory check of everything that comes in the kit. Jellyfish frame, bag of dangly bits, 24 gauge wire, 28 gauge, 18 gauge, 16 gauge wire, heavier, thinner for the tentacles, a bag of dangly bits, pre-strung strand of colored crystals. You may have this color scheme or this one here. We're gonna be working with this blue-green one today. The instructions are exactly the same. Leave these on the strand until we begin working with them. Let's go through our bag of dangly bits. I'm going to go ahead and dump my bag of dangly bits into my dish. Okay, if you have trouble distinguishing, just consult your printout. It should have a life-size jellyfish in all the beads. You should have three different sizes of clear crystals, eight millimeter, three pieces, six millimeter, six pieces, four millimeter, eight pieces. And we have a brass ring to hang the jellyfish from, four different length chain segments. These are gonna be the chain tentacles. All right, so everything that comes in your kit, we will be using to make leaks, head pins, some whimsical wire forming, and some basic bead wrapping. We are going to make this jellyfish in four stages, constructing dangling links that will connect to the body and the chain tentacles. Make the wire coil tentacles, wrapping all of the colored crystals onto the body. And lastly, attach all of the dangling parts. And then you're finished! So for stage one, we are going to be making handmade links with all the clear crystals. We're going to begin where your jellyfish will hang from, this brass ring. Make these marginal tentacles down here. The clear crystal dangles that hang off of the chain tentacles. All of these dangling parts are going to be attached to the jellyfish at the very end. So you're actually gonna put the bead on first and then start making stuff. We're going to rotate and then we're gonna take our hand and finish off that loop there. Hook in this brass ring. And just be really careful anytime you are have your fingers near a nub of wire like that because Tiny lengths of wire, of course, can be very stabby. Okay, so we are going to snip. Okie dokie, here we go! So, like a so, and we see the beginnings of a chain. So if you noticed, I kind of held my finger against the wire, not hard, because you don't want to stab yourself, but that kind of prevents the wire from flying across the room. And then we're going to snip. Just be careful not to cut. <laughs> that looks scary, doesn't it? It's not actually my finger, it's just <laughs> sticking to my finger. And now you have two links, woohoo! All right, now for the final step, we're gonna make a link for that. Just straighten this. When you straighten it, I'm just afraid the end might be sharp, so don't go all the way to the end because I don't want you guys to cut yourselves. So we're gonna do the same steps we've been doing. Move down a little bit. So we're gonna rotate, and then you're gonna come around. I'm going to loop this on, and wrap, wrap, wrap. So now we have this top chain segment that our jellyfish hangs from. 
So we're just gonna work on all the finishing the dangling parts first and then we're gonna move on to the jellyfish. So next, we are going to work on what I like to call, I, I believe they're called marginal tentacles. They're like the little short fringe looking tentacles that jellyfish have. I thought this would be a cute way to represent that. So we're gonna work on these two next. You are going to need two six millimeter beads and four four millimeter beads. Ready? Here we go! So I'm gonna move these and I'm just gonna work with this one. Thread this tiny four millimeter bead. You take the very point of your chain, uh, your round nose pliers and you just make the tiniest little curve there. Actually press that up against itself there like that. Crush it. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna make a right angle. So we're gonna make a partial turn there and we're gonna go around, wrap, wrap, wrap. So we're gonna snip and now you have your first little drop. Yay! Repeat this step for the other side. Now you have two head pin links. These tentacles, the little marginal tentacles, actually have two four millimeter beads. So we're gonna take another four millimeter crystal and we're gonna thread it onto our spool, just like we have been. Make a right angle here, lather, rinse, repeat. Na -na. All right, so we're gonna repeat this exact same thing on the, for the other side. I just stop short of the end, just in case you guys, it's a little short, I mean, uh, sharp. Okie dokie, here we go. Six millimeter crystal. Snip and tuck. Wasn't there a show called Nip Tuck or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch that show? No. It's like, um. Did you ever watch the show? No. Isn't there another show called House or something? It's like, they're the same, right? It's like surgeon shows or something. <laughs> you could tell I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> A lot of people liked House, if that's with Hugh Laurie, which... And it was like about hospitals? He's out. He's a British dude and he has a great American accent. Kind of comes through the moment. Okay, so don't forget, you make that right angle and then do a partial turn. It's a random question, by the way. Well, because I always say snip and tuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I was like, in the snip, snip tuck, um, like a nip tuck. So you're going to brace that and just make sure you don't crush that crossover point there. Just gonna cut that. I'm gonna snip and tuck. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, not gonna lie, so <laughs> everything has to be straight. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the bead on. <laughs> Should I do over? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we just delete everything? Okay. Next, we have these dangles that will attach to your chain tentacles. So there are four chain tentacles. Three of them will have beads hanging off of them and actually one of them does not. We are going to identify which chain is which after this segment, but first we're just gonna construct the dangles. So now we should have these three dangles. So two with the three beads in the ascending sizes and then one dangle with two beads. So now we need to identify which chain tentacles these go on. Okay, so let's grab your pile of chains. Oh, I just ruined the heart. So just go ahead and lay them all out. It doesn't really matter where they are right now. We just want to be able to see the full length. This goes here, three dangle. The very fourth chain tentacle gets three as well. We're gonna go ahead and just hook them all on at the same time. Just thread that on and hook that in just like that. And moving along upward. 
points. And once we get up to the pliers there, we can snip. Oops, this is not a good, <laughs> don't tuck with that, that, that would be bad. And we're gonna smush that in. And we're gonna check our link. All right, and now it's tentacle time. We're gonna do some basic wire forming. So first, we need to identify which wire to pull. One of them is 18 gauge, one of them is 16 gauge. We're gonna use this for the coiled up tentacles. This is gonna be for the straight tentacles. You're gonna grab your printout. This is actually different from your printout. This is my draft jellyfish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this loop right here. Make a rotation. And there's a loop. So this is gonna help us be almost like a little handle. Match it up, hold it in place, press it down. You just go like this, so now it looks like that. Every time you make a new matching portion, you move your hands down. We're gonna cut this. All right, <laughs> cool. So now we have our first dangly tentacle. Now, if yours didn't come out just like this, I know I, I recognize that I've, I've worked with wire a lot, so maybe this was probably way simpler and easier, easier for me than it was for you, but that's okay. Okay, cool, so let's take a look at our two tentacles. Also, we'll put these aside. We're gonna attach them later. We're gonna have some different kinds of tentacles that are more tightly coiled, is that correct? Yes, we're actually gonna do that right meow. This is 18 gauge wire. We'll unravel this. <laughs> Instead of making you guys shuffle around for a measuring tape or a ruler or whatever, we're just gonna be resourceful and use a piece of paper. You're gonna hold it to one end and then 11 inches. We're gonna need 18 inches for this first one. So 11 plus eight, that'd be nine inches. So we're gonna, at that point where we're holding, then we're gonna hold this out. I'm just going to cut it maybe like right here. That's like two inches. No, it's not. Give me a ruler. <laughs> Inch and a half. Oh, really? I am so good. <laughs> Sorry to toot my horn in front of you guys. Nobody likes a horn tooter. Okay, so we're gonna cut right there. And then we'll set this aside. Tiffany's very proud of her dimensional and... eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> I'm not proud of much. If you don't feel like grabbing a pen or if you don't have this nice, cheapy, straight pen, you can use the back of your pliers. And then we're gonna pop it off. You know, this also looks like, like um, a dreadlock accessory. You're just gonna pull it open and then change the direction and have it go upwards. So what I liked about the jellyfish I saw is that the coils weren't really consistent. You're free to do whatever you like. I can't wait to see what you make. So I could spend all day doing this. There we go. <laughs> It looks all. Look at my masterpiece. Yeah. Imagine, I'm like, these are my earrings. <laughs> Actually, not to knock anyone that makes earrings like that. I make earrings like that. Like and subscribe. Cool. Cool. Let's keep going. So this is probably going to be a lot of fun for you guys. I think that's good. I think that looks good. So we're going to attach these all later. Mark right here. Let's grab. This doesn't have to be so precise. There's so many tentacles. Some little lines marked. The jellyfish has a bunch of rows of crystal, so we are going to do them in segments. We're going to do two rows at a time. This is 28 gauge wire. We have a cat nearby. They're definitely going to want to play with that. So let's go ahead and prepare this bead strand. Squeeze like this one down. So now that this is open, put it somewhere safe so they don't go flying everywhere. Now that we have two wraps, it'll mostly stay in place. These are kind of like a three-dimensional diamond shape. Try and match up flat edge against the frame. I wrap one time and I put my next bead on it. Love teal and turquoise. I tried to pick colors that I feel like that are fun, pleasant to look at, sort of pastels. Here's the other color scheme, also in an ombre. that because you don't want salt. This is just a preview. We're starting here. We're moving up and we're gonna wrap down and then we're gonna go down here. Go upwards, downwards, 
stop there, go up, and right here. But once I designed the colors, then I had to figure out how I would actually execute it. It doesn't really matter what side, so the loop goes on this side and the loop goes on this side. You can go ahead and finish off this end. Just don't use your fingers when it's this short, because you can definitely stab yourself. That looks scary, doesn't it? Not fun. Okay. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Tuck. Rotate. Cool. We can finish tweaking this after we put the tentacles on because we're going to be manhandling this when we wrap everything on. Okay, so let's do the tentacles first. So I want it to be maybe be that far away. Sandwich this part of the frame and the link and then just start wrapping. And now you have a little space there. The next tentacle is going to be this long curved one or you might have changed yours but whatever you changed it to. We're going to do that same thing. I'm going to sandwich that whole area. So this gets a little tricky because you got little things dangling everywhere. So our next tentacle was this shorter coil. Now wrap, wrap, wrap. So the next dangling piece is, this is the longest chain. And it's okay if some of your tentacles get a little bit tangled. Yep, looks good. All right. So the next tentacle is our oral arm. The next one is the last chain tentacle. Once we're done, we can get everything all fixed up and purdy. But now we're gonna attach this very last dangle, which is what you're gonna hang your sun catcher from. Let's go back and see what's going on here. <laughs> so you just kind of want to hold your jellyfish up and let things hang. So sometimes they get kind of like twisted back like that. So you can just untwist. All right. Cool. Great job. This is a still adapted for beginners, but this was a pretty involved project. I think everything went swimmingly. <laughs> Here we go!